So what do you think you're doing? Are you good at fame? When are you gonna calm down? When are you gonna land? Hello. Okay, hi, you're watching Greg's V Eats. And I'm here on the fourth floor of Beauty World Centre at the Food Centre to try this Chinese style beef soup that is quite unique. I don't think you can find this style of beef soup anywhere else in Singapore. The stall is Penang Homemade Beef Ball and it is run by a couple who migrated from Penang in 2004. After working for a few years in the financial industry, Ben Chu, now 53 years old, and his now 48-year-old wife, Shirley Yong, decided to try their hand at running a food business. You see, Ben's extended family in Penang have been running a very successful beef steamboat restaurant called Restaurant Kam Ki since the late 1960s. And so Ben decided to open up a beef soup stall based on his family's beef soup recipe. And the couple opened their stall at the old Golden Shoe Hawker Centre in 2010 before shifting over to Beauty World Food Centre in 2016. And they have been here ever since. So come, there's a taste. Don't you think it's homeless living like you? Uh, yeah, you know I'm trying. Yeah, you know I'm trying. Okay, so I'm back from the stall and I have here the stall's main draw. The beef soup with various cuts of beef. I ordered $10 bowl of mixed beef parts and $5 of it is the fatty meat and I ordered $10 of beef balls. Um, I only ordered it soup and the meat and it's got some vegetables, that's it. You can actually order it with rice or noodles if you want some carbs, but, you know, but I did it in this case. So, try the soup. Oh, wow. Okay, now this is um, very soulful, it's very comforting. Now the stock has a very clean and pure taste with quite a decent beef flavour that's not heavy. Nah. There are some oil notes and there are very few herbs and spices in the soup. The main herb flavour that comes through is basically just some Chinese coriander which is thrown on top. And I see some fried onions swimming around the soup. Nah. Compared to other Chinese beef soups in Singapore, the broth here is less in your face and more soulful and simple. Nah. Now, I've actually eaten here many, many times. Uh, and the one thing I appreciate about the broth is that I can drink it up and I don't feel any bloating. So I think that they don't actually use any additives or cheap shortcuts to make their stock. That's what I suspect. Uh, you know. Now for the meat. Uh, firstly, the beef ball, which is meant to be the main highlight. Oh, by the way, I'm taking the beef ball from the other bowl over here. It's $10 and they give you a total of 20 balls. Uh, you can order whatever amount you want. $5 will give you 10 balls, so it's 50 cents a ball. Mm. Mm. It has a softer than usual texture, slightly softer texture for beef balls, but it still has a bit of bite. It's not as dense and bouncy you know, as compared to other homemade beef balls that I've tried. Now for the beef brisket, which I think is the bigger highlight. Oh, now look at this. Look at that. Pretty awesome. <laughs> now, this is the main attraction for me. La. Because if you realise, it's very hard to get any sort of fatty meat from Singapore hawkers who do sell beef. So this stall is unusual in that regard. La. I mean, people love beef for the meat, but people also love beef for the beef fat which is where all the flavour is. Plus, it is super nutritious for you. Lah. So whenever I come here to eat, I always ask for more brisket, which is the fattiest part that they offer. And the texture is, is great. Soft fat and well-cooked meat, but not to the point where it is completely breaking apart. There's still some firmness and spring to the bite. Okay, next, the tendon. Mm. Mmm, okay. They're very nice and cooked very well. It's soft but it's not too soft. So it's got a slight amount of bite. 
and the pieces are fairly big so you can get a big mouthful of it. Obviously with all these stalls right, the later you actually eat it in the day right, the softer the meat will get. Lah. That's generally how it is. Lastly, the sliced beef. Oh. It's cooked with a surprisingly soft texture. Lah. That's not softened using bicarb soda or anything. And that's a pleasant surprise, you know, considering that there's not much fat on the meat. It also helps that it is thinly sliced. Lah. That's probably the reason why it's got a softer texture. Okay, now they have two kinds of chili sauces over here and both are pretty good lah, okay? One is this one over here and one is this one over here. So I'm going to try the first one which is this one right here. This one looks lighter. The chili is lightly sour, it's not fresh sourness and it's very lightly salted. No oil notes. And it's a nice palate cleanser lah, if the food gets too monotonous. It kind of reminds me of uh, chicken rice chili but without the garlic. And this is the other one. Oh. Saltier, they actually added some blachan prawn paste to it lah. So there's an earthier flavour to it. And just FYI, they use some tauge la and some coriander. So, tauge and coriander. Mm. Ooh. Actually, I just ate this now. Lam. This is super soft now. Lam. So, it really depends on the piece. Sometimes you get it firmer, sometimes you get it softer. Oh, meltingly soft. Wow. Okay, more or less finished now. Huh? Still got a little bit of soup, but there's a lot of soup. Okay, um, now before I end, I just need to note that the store holders, they also sell other dishes like beef fried rice, beef or fun, and braised beef noodles. But they are rather um, average like in my opinion. The braised naolam beef noodles could do with a stronger robust gravy, and the hor fun also could do with a little bit more oomph lah, in the dish. The beef fried rice is luckily not bad and it's the best of the bunch. It's nicely wok fried with marinated beef and egg and it has a decent wok hay lah. But again, it needs a slightly stronger seasoning. So the big question is, would I travel half across Singapore to eat here? And for the beef soup, I would say yes. It's a very nice soulful soup and it's really the big highlight in this store. Lah. And I do regularly come here all the time. But unfortunately, not for their other dishes. But that said, maybe you might order them if you're in the neighbourhood and you're craving for it. Perhaps, I would just choose the beef soup. So, thanks for watching another episode of Greg's Meat Eats, where we eat through the whole of Singapore. If you like this episode, give it a like, subscribe and comment below, and turn on the notifications bell. And I'll see you in the next one, for more eating. Bye-bye. Hey, hoaxes, don't you think it's hopeless living like you? And you see how they run, the machines on the ground. And you see how they run.